Alright, tēnā i te waka moe me tiki te ringa raua, tēnā i te mihi aroha hoki ki a tātou ka tōa o te hunga waka, tēnā i te mihi. Yes, it's all about how do we manage our mauri. We got to, at the moment, we got to manage our mauri. Why do I say that? Given how the world is at the moment, given how our world circumstances are, the financial circumstances, the increase in finances for kai, for our housing. So we have to learn ways of managing our modi. Now, one of the ways that I do this, which has been really feeding myself goodness, feeding myself good modi, is I turn off all the notifications for social media, all of them, especially, especially Messenger especially messenger because if you notice when those dings come through right even if you decline it in the moment you still know someone's messaged you so that kind of captivates part of your intention impacting our modi our good energy right so if you turn off your notifications what i do is i go in maybe twice or three times a day depending on if i'm needing to hear from people if i've got a scheduled meeting coming up in one of the groups i might check it out a few times a day but if I'm in a space of really needing to feed good modi in because I might be a bit low or something, then I or needing to tend to my heart or my mind or feed my way to some goodness, then I might leave it for a couple of days. For some chats, I might leave it for a week. I might turn off and not look at my notification for a couple of days or a week, depending on what I need to make sure that my modi, my modi order, life essence is in alignment with the beautiful heavens like with good vibrations with positive vibrations and then once i'm in alignment go back in and check it out now the greatest thing about managing our own modi right is that we can then restore our heart back to love and I'm not talking this airy fairy love that people are talking about, but they ain't being an example about it, or they ain't being an expression of it. And I'm talking about all kinds of people, not one race, not the other race, or not one faith or one without faith. I'm talking about humanity. I'm talking about all of I and I in this nation of Aotearoa, New Zealand, or in the world, right? If we are not being the true divine example of love, then you ain't being of love and stop speaking about it, but get your heart back into love because either there's something going on for you that you're not dealing with. Well, there's no either anything. It really just is that. You're either being of love and you're or you're not. But the thing that I'm noticing is that it's so vital that we take care of our modi these days and social media is one of them. See, these are great tools. I had a meeting today with a brother. These are great tools. The internet's a great tool. Social media apps are a great tool. Our devices are great tools. But are your devices managing your modi or are you managing your modi? So I've been practicing this for a while. Now, the biggest thing I've had to deal with is that it's usually an inconvenience for others. Not for me, but for others, others' expectations of I, that I should reply, that I should see that notification because I'm on that chat group. I should tend to it. So what, when I started to realize that it's actually others, that it's inconvenient for others, what I'm doing to manage my modi, then I, I've just really got, cool, that's okay with me because it's not my problem. It's actually theirs. And if you really would love to speak to me or like to invite me to something, then holler at me and let I know because I'll be keen most of the time if it be Jah will. But you know what I mean? So really manage your modi. Regarding social media notifications, turn them off, especially messenger, especially messenger, okay? Because the amount of times that I witness even for myself that that device or that notification causes my attention to kind of go there or it gets activated activate something that may not be working well or in my life or whatever it's about managing our modi with everything we've got going on if you're about kotahitanga like if you really are about one people one nation right i keep hearing us we've got to be about kotahitanga we've got to be about kotahitanga or it's about the love or a about Yeshua the Christ, right? But then I experience judgment or tall poppy haterism towards me because I'm just doing me, doing what the great almighty is telling I to do. I've got to manage my own modi.
because that is what's important in this day and age with everything that's happening in the world, all the demands of the circumstances, the demands of the government changes, things like that. No hater, just actually calling out what's so. It's up to I and I to reclaim our mana and manage our modi. All right? You're worth it. Your modi is important. Stop giving out and feed good modi in. Once you're in alignment, then, hey, feed as much love, but feed out the overflow out to I and I. Manage our modi. Okay? That's the only way we got to be. Manage our modi. Peace and love. Good. Mm-hmm. <laughs>